Welcome to Reach It Workshop. This content is also available in the Reach It Workshop podcast and in a downloadable PDF for your SOPs. Today's topic is what's in tap water and why does it leave spots? When we see water, we usually see it as a transparent liquid. However, when a bead of water dries, it usually leaves a spot. So why is that? Hidden in water are minerals and chemicals that are dissolved in the water. Or in science talk, we say the minerals are in solution. When a water bead evaporates, the minerals and chemicals do not evaporate because they're actually solids. So they stay on the surface as a spot. The reason the solids make a circular spot is because the water bead, which is a circular shape, evaporates from the outside in. As the bead shrinks in size, the concentration of the minerals in the remaining bead gets higher. So in the end, the solids in the center of the evaporated bead are more noticeable. Now, not all spots are as visible as other spots because not all minerals dry white. White is a reflection of all light, whereas, for example, black is the absorption of all light. So you wouldn't normally see a black spot unless it were on a light-colored surface. To make it even more interesting, not all tap water leaves the same spots because the amount of minerals in one source of water is not the same as the amount of minerals from another source of water. Water could have a low mineral count if it comes from a lake, or a high mineral count if it comes from an aquifer. That's like a, an underground river that flows through porous rocks. So take the example of when we order a mineral water to drink. San Pellegrino sparkling natural mineral water is sourced from a thermal spring at the foot of a dolomite mountain in the Arabic Alps in the north of Italy. San Pellegrino has about a thousand parts per million of minerals, which is like 20 times more minerals than we have here in our local tap water. So now we understand about how minerals make spots. What we want to know is how do we get spot free results? Well, to get spot free results, whether you're cleaning a car, a window or a solar panel, there's three methods you can use. One, you can significantly reduce the size of the water beads. That's pretty much how a chamois works. Two, you can remove the water from the surface. That's how a squeegee works. Or three, you can use demineralized water like we do with water-fed window washing. So when the water bead evaporates, there are no minerals left to leave a spot. That's the end of this topic. This content is one of our fundamental series on water spots. You can learn more about TDS. That's what we call the minerals in the water how to find out your local tap water mineral content, how to test TDS, and what this means to a window cleaner and the other topics in this series. If you want to be notified with each new video we release, then subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash future of cleaning or enroll to the newsletters at futureofcleaning.com. We'll also have some of these videos on Facebook Live at our Future of Cleaning Facebook page, so make sure you have a like of that page as well and you'll get notified. If you have any questions about this topic, leave a comment. We'll be sure to answer you. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next topic.